Okay, so I'm starting from the elevator so you guys can get the full picture, but I enter this door into this hallway, which has a window. And as you can see, it's a very sunny day today. And turning right from this window is this little room, which has two apartments. And we have a storage closet outside the unit, which is really helpful for all of our cleaning supplies, laundry stuff, ironing board, and things like that. And now we enter the actual apartment unit. Here we are. So now we've made it into the actual unit. So we live in a studio apartment, but they divided the space really, really well. So the living space is down this hallway and the bedroom area is on this side. So immediately when you walk in, the bathroom door is on the left next to the bedroom and this is our bathroom. I love it so much. This is the dimmer lighting, but there's also a brighter light which is like this. So this is the lighting I'll use to show you guys the tour of the bathroom. This is a linen bath mat from Magic Linens and it's so soft and cozy. And our floors are actually heated, which is honestly the best thing in the middle of the night when you go to the bathroom and it's just like the warm feeling and your toes are warm. So I love that. And then we also have our towel rack, which is also heated over here. And then we have the toilet and this mirror, which also doubles as storage space for the bathroom. So I'll show you guys. We actually have extra space on the top for extra toilet paper and things like that. But we basically have all of our main everyday toiletries in this cabinet. So my boyfriend's side is on this side and then my side is on this side. And then we have our toothbrushes there. I have my hair clips, I have some body lotion, my contacts, and I have my little makeup bag as well. So this is our kind of everyday bathroom cabinet. And then we have our sink area, which has storage as well. So I'll show you guys what we have in here. We have the hair dryer and the brush, and these are all my boyfriend's like razors. And in this drawer, I just keep all my feminine products, razors, and extra body lotion and body wash and things like that in here. It's kind of like our extra storage cabinet. And then on the top ledge here, we try to keep very minimal. So we have my beloved Aesop hand wash, and then we have our fragrances and colognes over here. So these two are my boyfriends, and you guys know, I finally picked up a scent. This is the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. I love this scent, and my boyfriend usually wears Abercrombie or Chanel. Last thing in here is the shower. I love it because we have a rain shower head and also a handheld shower head. Then we just have all of our body wash, my face wash, shampoo, conditioner, razors, and things like that. And I actually love this shower because it genuinely feels like a spa every time I use it. So coming out of the bathroom is the bedroom area. This is a UK double size bed, I believe. So essentially a full is what we would call it, I think in America. And the bed is actually really cool because it lifts up and there's storage underneath for suitcases and things like that. So I really love that this apartment did that because obviously I don't want my suitcases just sitting in the living room. On this side we have the nightstand which has a little lamp and all the different light controls, plugs. There's also USB ports which is super helpful for charging my phone. And in here, this is essentially like the medicine cabinet of the apartment. I have my bag of medicines, band-aids, a lint roller, some earplugs, my little like spa moisturizing gloves, and just painkillers and things like that. So this is super handy if we're sick. We just have all the medication right here. And walking past to the other side of the bed, you will pass our wardrobe, which I'll show you guys in a second but there's also an entrance to the bed on this side as well. So just to provide another overview, that's the entry door, and then to the left is the bathroom, and then my side of the bed, and then you can also enter from this side as well. So on this side, we have our AC and heat controller, which is actually really cool because it's just a little touch screen like this. The apartment came furnished, but it only had one nightstand, so what I decided to do was make a little stack of books. Then we have our LED color changing light, which is the best thing in the history of ever because it's connected to our Google. So, for example, I can say, hey Google, change the light brightness to 10%. And then... Alright, setting the LED and brightness to 10%. Thank you, Google. So I really like this because you can obviously do voice commands and it changes to all different colors like red, blue, pink, green, you name it. So I love this little light on this side of the bed. I just think it makes the area 
very cozy having like both lights and yeah so this is the bedroom space quite simple quite minimalistic um, but we like it a lot I'm gonna show you guys our wardrobe so this wardrobe essentially acts as the divider for the studio space and this is obviously where we keep all of our clothing so we just have some of our coats and Yulian's button-down shirts on this lower shelf I keep all of my pants so I organize it by all of my denim and then all of the rest of my pants on this side and then in the back I just keep my active wear here is all of Yulian's sweaters and sweatshirts and this this is my section for all of my tops, sweaters, my undergarments, and my pajamas. I keep my pajamas in the front because I do kind of an alternating of these three pairs. On this level, Yulian has his pants, and then on the very bottom we have extra linens, extra bedding, and extra towels and things like that. And I think it works really well, and surprisingly, it's not too small for all the clothes that we brought with us. So now moving on to my favorite part, which is the actual living area. So going down this little hallway, we have our living room with our couch and our coffee table and then to the left we have our dining table which also doubles as our office and work table when we're not eating and then over here we have our kitchen which is my dream kitchen honestly i love it so much i just think the finishing and the colors is exactly how i would imagine my dream kitchen to be so i'm just going to give you guys first a little tour of the kitchen to show you guys what we have going on in here so we have my new our place pot which is so pretty and i just feel like it brightens up the space so well we have our olive oil we have our little desktop calendar and our molten brown soap our dishwashing soap and stuff like that and over here we have all of our silverware and our spatulas and then down here is our cutting boards our tupperware stuff like that this is our dishwasher which i'm so happy <laughs> this apartment came with the dishwasher it makes my life so much easier um, we have our trash and our cleaning supplies over here and on this last corner is our fridge and freezer which is kind of empty right now we just basically have some fruit and eggs and yogurt and things like that this is not the largest fridge but it works and we go to the grocery store quite often so it's no problem moving up from the bottom set of cabinets we have our oven and then this is like a little storage miscellaneous closet so the way this shelf is organized we have kind of technology and our reusable tote bags that we use for going out in the city or grocery shopping and then we have larger bags in this bag for more heavy duty grocery shopping trips um, and then these are just like little pencil pouches and stuff for work and back there I have some souvenirs that I'm taking home to my parents going to the left this cabinet has all of our tableware so our bowls cups mugs and things like that we don't have very many so we do have to wash our dishes often and these two cabinets make up our pantry which has all of our dried pasta and our oats some of our produce some nutella honey seasoning spices things like that and then on this level is all of our pots and pans and mixing bowls and reusable water bottles and then this last cabinet that's directly above the stove this is basically where the air vent is but we also keep our trash bags our laundry pods and our dishwasher pods in here just for easy access since we're using these things quite frequently and that makes up the storage for my kitchen so that is how we decided to organize it and yeah i just want to give you guys another overview i love it so much it has a really nice light for the evening which i'll show you guys right now it has lights running up the top and under here and i just think it looks so nice especially in the evening when we're cooking it just brightens up the space and yeah i love this kitchen i've loved cooking in this kitchen as you guys could probably tell from my videos so i am really happy to share it with you as far as our dining area goes it's pretty simple we do have lots of cords which is not my favorite thing aesthetically but since we're only here short term i didn't want to invest in a bunch of storage containers to hide that so it works for us i really love this table these chairs are really cute and we just have up here some candles our little google speaker and then i just charge all my devices here usually and our couch is really cute and tiny it is just a little two-seater love seat but yesterday my boyfriend and i literally both took a nap on this couch while our linens were being washed and it was very cozy but 
It honestly works and it wasn't too uncomfortable, though I wouldn't recommend it for a guest sleeping long term. But for a little nap or sunbathing, I love reading on this couch or editing on this couch. And then this coffee table is so cute. It's glass. I love how minimalistic it looks. And we usually just have flowers as the centerpiece, which I personally love having flowers in my apartment. And we also have my little jewelry dish from West Elm and this little sun-dried linen room diffuser which makes the house smell really good all the time. And I suppose the last thing to show you guys is our balcony which has floor to ceiling windows and I love it so much. We have our shoes out here. As you can see, my boyfriend is not home as his Air Force Ones are missing, but we have our little shoes sitting out here on the balcony. And as you can see, we get a lot of direct sunlight because our apartment faces south. On this side, we have my suitcase just because it didn't fit under the bed and I didn't want it in the apartment. So it's been chilling out here as well as some extra shoes and workout stuff for my boyfriend. And our view is actually quite nice we get to see other apartments it's a very residential area and this is my favorite view because we get the best sunsets in this little corner here and as you can see it's a very sunny day today which i love we don't get a ton of cars going through this way but the main road is just up there and we're super well connected to buses and the tube and everything like that. So yeah, I absolutely love this balcony. I think it's perfect for the summertime. I think it would be amazing to have an actual table and chairs or a little lounge as well. So one of my favorite things to do is always just to leave the doors open to get the fresh air in and then relax in the living room of the apartment. Giving you one last overview. I hope my camera skills were not too shaky. If they were, I really apologize in advance. But I have loved living in this apartment. I can safely say that it is my favorite apartment that I've ever lived in. I really am looking for this sort of open living space concept in my next apartment as well because I think that this is just perfect to be able to relax and then eat dinner and then see people while you're cooking. I loved hosting brunches and my friends over at this apartment just because it just feels really cozy and bright and happy but also minimalistic and clean and it never really felt cluttered or overwhelming even though it is a small space. So I'm really grateful that I got to live here. Also my flowers as you can see are really on their last leg. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will talk to you in my next one very soon. Bye.